I apologize for how echoey it is in my bathroom today, but uh, we're cutting my hair. So for those that know me, you know that I have bangs. They are hiding in here somewhere. I have washed my hair, like not washed my hair because we're gonna dye it afterwards, but I have uh, wet it thoroughly. Okay, I have a hairbrush comb and I have my hair cutting scissors. I think they're called shears. I'm going to be doing a wolf cut today to try and help my bangs grow out and not just be awkward little pieces at the front of my head. So we're gonna try and do kind of like layered shag. I'm going for Taylor Swift red. That's kind of what I'm going for. Also, I cannot tell if this is a bug bite or if it's a pimple, so. Featuring my two pimples. We're gonna have some fun. So when I was, I don't know, probably about 16 or so, I did actually do a wolf cut. It got a fancy name after I did it. Um, but when I was probably about a sophomore in high school, it didn't really have a name, but my mom explained it to me as when you put your hair up in a ponytail or when you dip your head forward, you can see all the layers. And so if you dip your head forward and cut it all across straight, all of those layers that are usually on the back of your head then become on the top of your head. So for today, we're going to be kind of replicating what I did back then. Insert photo here. Um, and then we're also going to be kind of following Brad Mondo's tutorial, mostly following Brad Mondo's tutorial. And I know that my hair is kind of short to handle the authentic wolf cut. It's a lot, I don't know, longer, but your girl needs to grow out her bangs. And so this is gonna be the best way to do it. The crazy thing about this is, is that, um, my hair finally looks the way that I want it to. Like it's the right length, it's the right style, it looks super cute, it's got all the volume that I like in it. And now we're going and cutting my hair when I would say that it looks perfect because I need to have problems in my life. Okay, I think I finally have my ponytail. Oh, that is not centered. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, I think that is about as center as it's gonna get for just about my whole ass head. Um, I'm gonna be like an emo Jojo Siwa, and I'm kinda here for it. I wish that my hair could actually look like this normally. I'd go throw on some extensions and like look like goth Rapunzel. Anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the top and we're gonna cut it. And I cut my hair all the freaking time. So I hate that I still get so nervous about doing this because I'm just never quite certain it's gonna go the way that I want it to go, but this is what I need to do in order to have my bangs grow out. Also because I wanna look like Taylor Swift. We're gonna go ahead and get rid of, I don't know, probably about that much. Can you guys even see that? I'm gonna get rid of about that much. At least to start, because this is this is the length of my hair. This is what's in the back. This is like all the way back here. So we're not gonna be losing any length. I'm just trying to get in those layers. Oh, look at this. He's just hanging out. This is a whole this is a whole look right here. This is a whole. I'm here for it. I'm getting Y2K vibes, but here we go. Cutting over my sink so that way I don't have to do the clean. Oh, I apologize, I'm watching Star Wars. So if y'all hear Star Wars, I promise there's no spoilers. It's um it's season seven. So no book of Boba Fett spoilers on this channel. Oh, can y'all even see me? Yeah, you can totally see this. Hey, right, so we've got there we go. Obviously that is not all we're gonna do. I actually think that I'm gonna go back in and just, because I took off, I took off a joke of an inch. So I think I'm gonna have to be a little bit more ballsy and I'm not losing any length. I'm gonna have to go shorter. Oh, my hand is cramping. And Rex is getting electrocuted! Um, 
Yeah, I'm still not cutting into that layer already. One more time. I am taking this as a sign that it was a really bad idea to condition my hair before doing this because my hair is slippery. We're going to go ahead and take this down, see how this looks. Yes, that's always how I take my hair down, out of a ponytail, is that super dramatic flip. And that did basically nothing. I get that my hair is wet, but like even if you hold it out, you really like can barely see a length difference. And I think that's just because I took off like, I don't know, like an inch or so. So I used to have layers that were about an inch different and just that one layer is just not enough. Ugh. Okay, we got our ponytail back. We're gonna go ahead and do another inch or so. We're gonna we're gonna attempt to do another inch um, because my hair is drying up. Oh, I can see the next layer. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's try this again. I know that I'm cutting off like basically a non-existent amount of hair, but that is the way we need to go with this. You just small, slow baby steps. Alrighty, let's see how that. This is the whole look. This is just. I'm gonna just style my hair like this from now on. <laughs> So, now this is the step that Brad Mondo says is the most important step. Pausing Star Wars, Brad Mondo says that this is the most important step, and that is comb. We're going to do a center part, and then we're going to do a part down this ear and down this ear, and we're going to over direct in both directions. And that should be giving us face framing curtain bangs, I think? Or is it just face framing layering? Either way. Fun little side note that I just remembered because my hair is actually stuck in that piercing, um, but Maul from the Clone Wars and I are piercing buddies. And that is why he's my favorite character. Okay, not absolutely perfect, but um, you know, Brad Mondo, eat your heart out. I'm really proud of this one though. Now, before I proceed, I am actually going to go back and rewatch that part from Brad Mondo's video just because he does say that it is the most important step, and so I don't want to screw it up. I'm going to bring the rest of the hair over, and I'm going to use that guide I just made and cut the other extra length that we don't need, all right? Okay, that seems pretty straightforward. I don't know if you can actually hear that, but basically what it is is that you take one part, you pull it over, you find where all of the short stuff is, which is right here. So we'll cut from about here, trim all of this off, bring all of this over, and then trim from there again. Okay, so I've got my first, my first section, and I'm just gonna over direct it. This immediately is giving me like specifically 2006 RAR XD vibes. Like, <laughs> oh, I feel like I'm dating myself at this point. Okay, so now that I just have that all pulled taut and section, we're just gonna go ahead and chop all of that off. Cool. And then we're just going to proceed to do the same with the rest of it. The rest of that extra length, and then we can just go in because this was a little bit bulky and just pull that. Oh. Boom. Okay, now time to do the other side. Oh, and then there's Rex crying. I cried like a baby the first time I saw this season. It was excellent. Alrighty, that is what it looks like when you try to part it with your freaking finger. That's what that looks like. We're gonna clean that up. It's gonna look nice and cute. 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is what it looks like when you part it with a comb! Alright, now everything is out of the way. This is where we pray to Jesus. And we're going to hope that this turns out right on the other side. Alright, we're going to open it. Front. Girls across the other side. It should be about right there. Okay. And then we're going to take this and we're going to add it to that. It was a bad idea to wear a black tank top Cause now I can't see what I'm doing some good 
face framing stuff. So if I want to put my hair up, that is exactly what that should look like. Okay. Yeah, that is just, I love that, here for it. It's so fluffy. This is, okay, this is what I mean by my hair is, is textured. It's not straight, it's not wavy, it's not curly, it's just poof. <laughs> anyway, ta-da! I love it. I probably might go back in and do just a little bit more adjusting. I can't really see any of the layers in the back, although I know for a fact that they're there. Like, I did go back. They're there! They just don't really show up when I'm looking for them. But all in all, I'm a happy camper! So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!